So on my last video, I found this 14K white gold wedding band in a ball field. And I was afraid I used up all my luck. And I went to go hunt this spot that I found good luck tokens before. And I went back there, wanted to find some more good luck tokens for my future hunts. You gotta check out what I found. This place is just littered with these tokens. Unbelievable how many I found. Check this out, it's in my dump pouch. That many of them. They're big tokens, unbelievable. And I think I got another one here. I just wanna dig it live with you guys. Shallow. There we go, check it out. There's two types of them. There's aluminum and I'm guessing there's brass. This is a, either it's brass or copper. There's another good luck token. Amping up my good luck for the 2017. I mean, this is incredible. The, just, the ground is just littered with them. Pulled out one there, pulled out one right here. Look, there's another one right here. Oh, good luck to me. I wonder why there's so many of these out here. This is incredible. <laughs> this is a plug I just dug. I got out, checked it. I didn't get a signal, walked away, came back. Came back, same plug, got a little bit of a signal, and there's another one. Another good luck token. Oh, walked away. That other place is just loaded with signals. I got a nice, decent, clean signal right here, and I think it's going to be another token. Let's just see. Let's just see what we got. It's rough digging. There's a lot of roots out here. Down there in the hole. And there are various depths. I mean, they're shallow and deep. And got it out. I think that's another one. Yep. This is one is made out of aluminum. Look at there. Amping up my good luck. Well, guys, I just dug two more out. And what I'm going to do is leave this spot because the ground is just littered with them. And I'm just going to leave these uh, tokens for another treasure hunter another time in the future to find. Because that's just ridiculous. <laughs> Can you believe that? That is incredible. Yeah, look at that. Yep. So unbelievably, I found all those good luck tokens, and I feel that I amped up my good luck enough for the rest of the year. So I went back to that ball field, and you gotta check out what I found. I'm getting rain done, guys, and it's getting dark. I forgot my gloves. I just ran out of the house to go hunt this park. The ground's getting dry already, but so we need some rain down here. Look what I got. Looks like I got a ring. It rang up as a 52. Man, I am hoping this is going to be a good one. Oh, this is awesome. Check it out. Wow. <laughs> oh, buddy. Check that out. Ooh oh, come on, camera. I mean, I'm losing daylight quick. And I was walking back towards the truck and I got this bad boy. Let me uh, probably turn the light on my camera. There we go. Now we can see. Rang up, it's a 52. I don't know. We'll see what it's going to be. Just sprayed it off and it does have markings on the inside. Awesome. <laughs> my luck continues. Let's zoom in and see what it's going to be. Sweet. It's gonna be 10 carat. We got a nice little 10 carat gold ring. And those probably might be real. That is awesome, guys. Yeah, those are tiny, so they're probably gonna be real on this 10 carat. 
I love this hobby. Absolutely love it, love it, love it. Got a deep, 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 deep signal. And it was ringing up like a pull tab. And I popped out a nickel. See if you can see that date. 1945, you know what that's gonna be. It's a war nickel, 1945D. Huh. But that's definitely the oldest coin I pulled out of this field. I'm in the ball field, and uh, about three years ago, I pulled out a rosy, and that's the only other silver. I pulled maybe two wheat pitties out of here. Everything's on the surface, but this was a deep signal, and check that out, man. That is awesome. That's a silver coin number 15 for the year. I am loving this ball field. After I cleaned all this trash out, I'm finding the good stuff. I don't know this is going to be good or not, but check this out. Look down here. Oh, it might be. It rang up as a 45 or 46. 40, mid 40s. Ooh, let me get some water on this, wash it off. See if I can get a marking on it. It's got initials. All I see is initials right now. It's gonna be Catholic, that's for sure. Oh, look at that. Wow. Beautiful. Got it cleaned up. And I'm looking at the clasp, or the clasp with a little hoop on it. Guys, that's 10 carat. Oh, wow. My gold streak is alive and well. Awesome. <laughs> I think I've mentioned this before. I love this hobby. Absolutely love it. After I found that uh, pendant medallion, I uh, slowed down. And I'm looking for the chain, if that's possible. And getting up, you know, digging this cancel on the real low numbers. I think I just dug some more gold. I'm not jumping to any conclusions here. Let's see what it is. What is this? I'm dumbfounded. If this is part of a bracelet, It might be broken and no this is going to be an earring i think this is going to be an earring let me get some water on it and see what it is got it cleaned up it's a strange looking earring it swivels i thought it was like a piece of gold a uh, necklace or a bracelet that got hit by a lawnmower no 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 it's a gold ring and look at that see that 14 carat Oh, this is, this is amazing. I'm starting to get spoiled on the gold. Getting spoiled, guys. I don't think these are real. Could be wrong, but I don't think they're real. But it is set in 14 karat. This is awesome. I <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it. Check that out. I just want to show you guys this. Um, in order to find these little gold uh, earrings and pendants and gold rings, you got to dig this stuff. Can slaw. And uh, it just takes one Coke can and one lawnmower to litter this whole area with these little fragments of aluminum. And they sound a lot like the gold uh, charms and whatnot that I'm finding. So I'm digging it all. And it's time consuming, but it is definitely paying off in this little area. My ring count is ridiculous. I cannot believe how many rings I've been finding this year. Looks like I got another one. It rang up high in the 80s or so. Looky there. This is a cool looking one. That's wild. Check that out. That's so cool. I don't have a clue what it's made of. Probably not silver. 
It looks like it's just a uh, a over or a ring or some type, and it almost looks like somebody made this. That is, yeah, it does look like somebody made this. That is cool, man. I'll clean it up and uh, see if I can find anything, but I guarantee it's just, it looks like it's a homemade ring to me, honestly. All right, guys, welcome to Wrap Up Table. Before I start going over my finds, I want to uh, give a shout out to Silver Sniffer and Mellow Detecting with, and Fishing with Romy. They both do really good uh, videos about metal detecting, and they're on the West Coast. And they went out on an epic hunt, and when they came back, guess what? Their car was broken into, and they lost money. And the sad thing is, the silver sniffer, who is Ross, lost his GoPro gear. And he does some pretty good uh, YouTube videos with multiple camera angles and a lot of GoPro work. And you gotta go check them out. I'm gonna leave a link to both of their channels down below. Ross has some t-shirts he is selling with his logo on them. And he's doing that to recoup his loss. He's not asking for a handout or anything. And I guarantee you, if you just subscribe and drop a comment and a like, they'll just appreciate that as much as buying a t-shirt from him. So go check him out. You know, we're, we're all a big family. We all uh, have common interest. And I've talked to Ross a few times on the phone. He's a great guy. Now, on to the fines. I tell you, I'm getting spoiled. <laughs> This is an awesome hunt. This is ring number 26 for the year. And actually had these tested and they came out real. And it's set in 10 karat gold. And it's a little woman's, I think it's going to be a pinky ring. It's tiny. I can't even get it on my finger. But that is an awesome find. I absolutely love it. I uh, found, let's see, you go to this one. I found a war nickel out there too. So that's my silver out there. It's just a tiny little bit. But it is a 1945 I think I said it wrong in the video. I said it's a D. That's a Philadelphia mint mark on top. Found this has kind of been a bucket lister. I found a lot of um, religious pendants, but I've never found a gold one. And this is my first one. And it is three tone gold. That is awesome. It does have initials on the back of it, but initials won't help me find whoever lost that. This, I did have these tested, and my assumption was correct. Those are fake. And it is one odd-looking earring. If I was ever going to scrap my gold, this would be my first piece. It is one ugly piece, but it is 14 karat, and I will take it. It is an awesome find. Ring number 27 for the year. Can you believe it? And I believe this is a homemade ring. I think somebody made this from their house. It's a little project ring. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you think this is a homemade ring. There's no markings. I don't think it's silver. I think it's all stainless steel. The wiring might be silver. I know they have um, silver wiring to make jewelry with. So I don't know. But that is a cool ring. I like that one. And of course the tokens. <laughs> How can you miss the tokens? Uh... What can I say? I found a token spill. They're everywhere. <laughs> I amped up my good luck, and then I went back to that ball field. And yes, the question of the video is, can you find treasure in ball fields? Well, my video is pretty self-explanatory. When people are out um, outside their normal life, and they get in the field where everybody, you know, collects in one area, and they start doing... Um, unusual movements sweating and whatnot they're going to lose their um especially you know if you're playing tag football or something or throwing a ball you're going to lose your jewelry so that's that's why it's out there i hope you guys like this one thanks for watching good luck happy hunting and remember you gotta get out there digging the ground because you never know what you're going to find like some gold i mean who doesn't like some gold with some diamonds in it